people dying over cigarettes. I started smoking when I was 20 years old after I had my first son. Summer, spring, winter, and fall. Even when it's 30 below. I still go outside and have a cigarette. Can you believe that? It's cold as it gets up here. When I was young, everybody that I knew smoked. The world was an ashtray. It used to make me lightheaded. <laughs> and when I stopped getting lightheaded, I got addicted to smoking cigarettes. Uh, I started smoking cigarettes. We were at the county fair, and believe it or not, way back then, uh, for prizes, they gave a cigarette. What kind of cigarettes you smoking? Newport shorts in a box. Menthol greatly increased it increases the likelihood that you'll become addicted. The combination of the menthol sensation with tobacco, one, it makes it a much smoother like taste. So young people tend to like that. Um, when you look across communities of color, unfortunately, that is a preference of most folks of color to use, you know, your, whether it's Newports or uh, Marlboro, menthol, a lot of menthol use is happening in communities of color. And so really trying to get those kinds of products out of the stores in our local communities, corner stores, so that if people want them, they have to go to a tobacco shop and they have to prove that they're 18. The stuff that you guys are doing is good because I've seen the change that you guys have done with now the ordinance being 21 in some areas and they take in the menthol out of some stores, that's good because again, it's the African-American youth that they really targeted. It's easily accessible and it's that way for a reason, right? That the market believes that young people of color will buy into killing themselves with these products. And I think that consumerism is a major problem across lots of different markets. You can say the same thing about alcohol. These are things that are um, definitely bad for the human body, especially when they're overly consumed. And they often get targeted at low income communities, poor communities, communities of color because Ultimately, a lot of the times those communities are suffering from PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, and lots of other, you know, really negative outcomes. And sometimes people are looking for an escape, something to take the edge off. And so cigarettes or tobacco or alcohol or marijuana or other drugs become the way that people get that, um, that zen, right? They find that stress relief by doing those things. But at the same time, they're seriously hurting their bodies. I think that it's horrible that we have a tobacco industry that works as hard as it can to get little children to smoke. That they have tobacco products that look like candy to lure them in. The one thing that I know for sure, if you smoke, it will kill you. How do I know? The tobacco company themselves tell us this. They're putting so many chemicals in these cigarettes. That's why people are smoking, because they're so addicted. I don't know what they put in there. You just packaging it and putting it out there. But they keep raising the prices and raising the prices and raising the prices, and that's where it kills me, because I know I'm still buying the cigarettes. They almost $10 a pack. I'm still buying the cigarettes. And when I started, they was five twenty-five. My mother, she passed from having, um, but her lungs, she had COPD. She lived till she was 86. And she, her lungs got really black and stopped working. Then it went to the other one. And then at the, at the, her end life, she had to have the oxygen tank. Three years ago, he was diagnosed with COPD. And I asked my grandfather, I said, Grandpa, you still smoking? He said, no, nah, baby girl. He said, the doctor told me. I keep on smoking, I'm not gonna be here. I stopped smoking cold turkey. And it's been three years now, my grandpa still has not smoked. But he's still living with the consequences of COPD. Hard coughing, heavy breathing. 
up and down to doctor's appointments. And that's what I'm scared of. It's not healthy. It's not. Even right now, I'm 29 years old. Sometimes I get tired going up the stairs, smoking cigarettes. Then my sons, I don't want them to think, okay, mom smokes, it's okay. Because then they're going to be like, oh, well, great-grandpa smokes. It's not okay. I just want to be a positive role model because, again, these kids are young. Whatever they see older people doing that look just like them, they want to do it. But we have to be the ones to be like, no, it's not good for you. But then my son asked me, why do you do it? And I can't give him an answer. I tell you, it a, it's a very hard addiction to, to kick once you do start smoking. Smoking is the worst thing that anyone can do. And it's a terrible habit. And it's very, very addicting. And I don't recommend it for anyone. Thank you.